So this is where I'm starting today. Uh, I'm essentially at what I would call the uh, mid mid dark tone, light dark tone, mid tone. Um, they're essentially like going to be four layers to this red, and red's kind of tough. I mean, red's uh, there's just no doubt about it. It's it's tough working with red, um, and so you know to make it look good you have to build it up in layers <clears throat> and this is essentially my second if you don't count my kind of failed attempt at the uh, the airbrushing uh, layer which you know it, I call it a failed attempt but really it does work as a as a deep shadow tone actually you can see it here Com compare that <clears throat> if you see his tone versus the marine next to him. See how it almost looks purple? Yeah, well, um, in the deep recesses that works just fine, you know, anything underneath. Uh, that'll look great, but as far as being a red, not so good. Uh, it's just too blue for this, what is, you know, very uh, orangey red. So from here, uh, it's going to be another lighter tone, probably really close to base blood red, and then I'll be doing some edging. So I guess really my, my the lightest highlight isn't even really a, a coat so much as it is a uh, you know a, an edge that makes things pop. And by the way, this is uh, this was my own this is from my own set. just to kind of give a look of you know what it might look like when it's done. I think it's going to be a little different. Um, I think the uh, the colors are going to be richer on the new one. But anyway, there it is and I gotta get to it. So uh, don't expect to see too much work in progress on, on this video today. Okay, so I've got about about half of them done. So far into the next uh, next level of red, and here's sort of our uh, sort of dividing line. Not done. Done. Um, well, not done, done, but you know what I mean. So. You can kind of see the uh, the difference in the reds. Uh, so these guys, all they're going to need for the armor color to be done is the final highlight, which is more of an edging. And uh, these guys still need some work left. So um, anyway, just wanted to show the progress. Again, this is kind of a, it's a, uh, I don't want to say tedious, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a time-consuming process. And it's easier for me to just do it and get it done then you continue to try and shoot while I'm doing it. So I'm just going to look and see at see the progress after the fact. And there we go. By the way, you might notice that that one's a different color. It's not painted at all yet. And that's because that one's going to be a different color. Anyway... That's all for now. You know, I kind of wanted to uh, take a look at what the more final product was going to look like, so I did a little bit of the edge highlighting on this guy on the right here, and compare him on the guy to the guy on the left that hasn't had that done yet, and get a sense of. Oh, actually, that's not even the right. Compare it to this one. There we go. So, I'm not sure if you can tell. I think you can see it. Um, anyway, I just kind of wanted to see where that was going, make sure I liked it. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different from the color scheme that I was had originally chosen for my own. But I actually like this a lot better. And it's actually closer to uh, the color scheme from Space Hulk. 
the uh, the actual studio models. So there it is. That's it. Talk to you later.